Have you ever wondered where the coldest places on Earth are? Our first stop is the Vostok Station, Antarctica. Nestled in the heart of the icy expanse, Vostok Station is an outpost of human resilience, standing tall amidst the blistering cold. Believe it or not, this station holds the record for the lowest recorded temperature on Earth. Imagine stepping outside to a chilling negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative 89.2 degrees Celsius if you're wondering. This bone-chilling record was set on July 21, 1983. But despite the extreme conditions, people live and work here. The population at Vostok Station varies with the seasons. In the summer months, you'll find around 20 to 25 people braving the cold and carrying out their duties. During the winter, the population dips even lower, with only 10 to 12 brave souls sticking it out. Living at Vostok Station is a testament to human bravery and adaptability. The people here are faced with the challenges of isolation, darkness, and of course the relentless cold. Yet they persist, carrying out vital research and maintaining the station. It's a place of extremes where every day is a battle against the elements. In the heart of Antarctica, Vostok Station stands as a testament to human resilience in the face of extreme cold. So, are you ready to bundle up and join us on our next chilling destination? Our journey continues to another icy outpost in Antarctica, the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station. This lonely habitation in the heart of the Antarctic wilderness has seen temperatures plummet to a bone-chilling negative 117.04 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative 82.8 degrees Celsius if you prefer your temperatures metric. Imagine if you will, stepping out into a world where the air itself seems to freeze in your lungs, where every breath sends a shiver down your spine, and where the concept of warmth seems like a distant memory. That's the reality for the inhabitants of the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station during the depths of winter. But despite these harsh conditions, life persists. During the summer months, the station bustles with around 150 inhabitants, scientists and support staff alike, who brave the cold to push the boundaries of human knowledge and exploration. Yet, as the summer fades and the long winter sets in, the population dwindles to a hearty 50. These resilient souls endure months of darkness and freezing temperatures, isolated from the rest of the world. The Amundsen-Scott Station is more than just a research facility, it's a testament to human tenacity and endurance. It's a place where people defy the odds and survive in an environment that seems determined to push them to their limits. The Amundsen-Scott Station, a beacon of human perseverance in the frozen expanse of the South Pole. Next we head north to the chilly confines of Verkhoyansk, Russia. Enveloped in what seems to be a never-ending winter wonderland, Verkhoyansk is known for its bone-chilling temperatures, which once plummeted to a staggering negative 90.04 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine, if you will, a place where the cold can freeze your breath before it even leaves your mouth. But what's truly remarkable is the resilience of the 1,300 or so inhabitants who call Verkhoyansk home. They've adapted to the severe cold, embracing a lifestyle that may seem unimaginable to many of us. Life in Verkhoyansk is a testament to human endurance, a story of survival against the elements. From bundling up in layers of clothing to mastering the art of ice fishing, the people of Verkhoyansk have turned living in one of the coldest places on Earth into an art form. Verkhoyansk, a place where cold isn't just a season, but a way of life. We continue our journey in Russia, to the village of Oymyakon. Here the cold doesn't simply bite, it consumes, with temperatures plunging to a bone-chilling negative 89.9 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 67.7 degrees Celsius, recorded back in February of 1933. Imagine a place where winters are so harsh that cars are left running to prevent their engines from freezing, where the ground is perpetually frozen, making farming nearly impossible. This is Oymyakon, home to a hardy population of 462, as of the 2010 census. The residents here have adapted to their icy environment in remarkable ways. From developing unique methods of farming, to embracing a diet rich in reindeer meat and ice fish, life in Oymyakon is a testament to human resilience. In the face of such formidable cold, these intrepid villagers continue to thrive, embracing the challenges of their environment with a spirit as unyielding as the frost. Oymyakon, a village that thrives in conditions most would find unimaginable. Our final destination is the city of Yakutsk, Russia, a place where the winter chill doesn't just nip at your nose, it takes a bite. The city's lowest recorded temperature is a bone-chilling negative 83.9 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 64.4 degrees Celsius. 
That's colder than most commercial freezers. Yet, despite the extreme cold, Yakutsk is home to a substantial population. As of the 2021 census, the city had a population of 355,443. These hardy inhabitants have learned to embrace the ice and snow, adapting to the severe cold in ways that are as unique as they are ingenious. Life in Yakutsk is not for the faint of heart. Every task, from grocery shopping to getting to work, becomes a battle against the elements. Residents often leave their cars running all day, lest the engines freeze solid. Even the simplest act of breathing can be a challenge, as the frigid air can freeze the moisture in your nostrils. Yet despite these challenges, the people of Yakutsk have carved out a thriving community in the heart of Siberia. They've built schools, hospitals, and even a university. They've created a city full of life, culture, and resilience, a testament to human adaptability. The city buzzes with activity, from bustling markets to vibrant festivals, even in the harshest of winters. But don't let the cold fool you. Yakutsk is also known for its warm hospitality. The people here are as robust as they are welcoming, always ready with a hot cup of tea and a warm smile. They've learned to find joy in the cold, to celebrate the beauty of their icy home. Living in Yakutsk is indeed a unique experience, a daily dance with the cold that has shaped the city and its people in remarkable ways. It's a city that defies the odds, that shows us the limitless potential of human adaptability. Yakutsk, a city that proves life can thrive, even in the coldest corners of our planet.